The particle size in a sample is determined by tracking each individual particle while recording a video as they move according to the Brownian motion. Since the Zeta view instrument detects, localizes and tracks each particle in the field of view, the software can quantify the average mean square displacement per time interval and determines a diffusion coefficient for each individual particle. The diffusion coefficient of each individual particle is taken into the Stokes-Einstein equation. For measuring size and concentration of a sample, inject at least one milliliter of your sample containing between 10 to the fifth and 10 to the ninth particles per milliliter. Check whether the particles in the sample are almost homogeneously distributed over all measuring positions. Observe the indicator number of detected particles. The number should be similar in all measuring positions. If necessary, check the particle drift. A green line tells you that everything is OK and a measurement can be started. Next, set the sensitivity and the shutter according to your requirements. Ideally, both parameters should be set so that the lower two indicators, scattering intensity and number of detected particles, show green color. If the sample is diluted, enter the dilution factor. Click on the button Run Video Acquisition. Enter the name of the sample or experiment. Next, choose a folder or create a new one in which all the measurement data are to be saved. For a size measurement, click on the appropriate button. Select 11 measurement positions if you want to have good statistics. Choose the number of the cycles. This number tells you how often the 11 positions should be measured. Choose the resolution of the video. In this example, medium means that each video contains 30 frames per measuring position. If necessary, set a temperature so that the sample in the measuring cell is at a stable temperature during the measurement. It might be important to enter additional sample information or remarks. These will also appear later in the PDF measurement report. Start the measurement by clicking OK. The ZetaView instrument now moves the detection optics to the first measurement position and starts the video recording. The particles in the field of view are detected by the camera and tracked frame by frame in their movement. Then it moves to the next position and so on. Since two cycles were previously set in this example, two videos are recorded in each measuring position. For each particle, a diffusion coefficient is calculated, which is taken into account when calculating the particle size. After the video has been recorded, the software automatically switches to the Analysis tab. The histogram is created based on the video and the previously set post-acquisition parameters. After the histogram is complete, an 11 position table is automatically displayed provided the corresponding function had been activated before. The table shows statistical values and potential outliers for each measurement position. No outliers were found in this measurement. The analysis is complete. It's easy peasy.